with this rule since you know um, I've been able to control that sort of thing, you know, that I don't do a job unless I have kind of some sort of visceral reaction to it. You can find water, but you can't even find your own children. It happens so seldom, you know, and it always with me, it's like it doesn't matter what the schedule of the thing is or what the pedigree of the thing is, what the fee is, where we're shooting it, you know, if I've had that visceral reaction, then, you know, that's the movie I have to do. Three sons killed. That was quite an ordeal for Eliza. I'll find them, love. I'll find them and I'll bring them home to you. The thing that was really galvanizing for me, the thing that was both inspirational yet fundamentally embarrassing at the same time, is I realized for all of the dawn services I've been to, I'd never spent a minute thinking about this situation from the Turkish perspective. Mm. Never even considered, really, you know? Mm. And that I just found that to be you know, I was embarrassed. Right. Like, okay, well, I can draw to mind the number of New Zealand and Australian dead, but I have no idea how many Turkish men mm. died, you know. Uh, and these are, you know, some people say, well, these are like minor details or whatever, you know, okay. But, uh, you know, we call Gallipoli Gallipoli, but the Turks, they call it Çanakkale, right. you know. It's a hundred years on, you know. Our kids should know that. Your guide took us out of date. I didn't come here to sightsee. I'm on my way to Gallipoli. There's nothing there but ghosts. How I was greeted in Turkey really surprised me, you know? And, and it wasn't because I was a movie star, you know? I'm just another bloke walking around the grave sites, you know? And a guy comes up to me and says, where are you from, you know? And, you know, I said New Zealand, and he, straight away he wanted to have a chat. And I'm like, right, oh, this, I'll show you this, this will really interest you. And it was like, it was, it was like that was a personal, connection for them, be, you know, depth in a way that I just hadn't assumed. Maybe we could help him. You know what the chances of finding his boys are. He's the only father who came looking. I know it's tough. Mm. You know, not every parent is going to make the decision to, um, to show their kids this sort of stuff. But, you know, here's the things that I've done for you as a parent, right? There is no sexualized nudity mm. and there's no swearing, right. okay? The rest of this stuff is about grief and the atrocity of war. But it also has a great deal of hope in it. So it's up to you, you know, at that point in time. Um, me, I think my little one had a very romanticized viewpoint of war, and that comes from the movies and watches and the games and the plays, you know. And he was saying things to me which I was finding, you know, a little bit confronting, you know. And um, he watched the film, and he completely changed his mind <laughs> about the romanticism of being a soldier. If this is your son, he was taken prisoner. He did not die here. What does Russell Crowe, the actor, think of Russell Crowe, the director? Well, we never had any angry words. Um, <laughs> is that a first? <laughs> and, 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 you know, the actor never refused anything I asked of him.